Hey guys, I'm Steve here standing outside the front gates of the Toronto Zoo, but it's not what's outside that's exciting, it's what's inside. Over 5,000 animals and something else that's really exciting going on. So you ready to go? You ready to go? Okay, let's go. Cynthia, what's the surprise everyone keeps talking about? Well, it's exciting and it's a carousel, a conservation carousel. What? Carousel? Did somebody say carousel. Carousel. Say carousel. carousel. That sounds really cool. Do you mind if I go check it out right now? Go, go, go. Very go nice now. meeting go. you. Very nice. So obviously there's a lot of work still left to be done. I'm gonna need some help on this one. You ready guys? So your team were the ones that designed this? It's rather unique. It's completely custom designed. So it's not only the, the animals that are uh, special designed, but all the panels and everything to look like Amazon rainforest carousel. What, what is this, the anaconda? This is the anaconda. That's awesome. What made you choose these particular animals? Because of the endangered species, you know. It's educational as well as a lot of pleasure to ride the carousel. I'm here with Chris, he's one of the elephant keepers here at the Toronto Zoo, and who's this behind us? Hi Steve, this is uh, Toka, she's a 40 year old female African elephant. I noticed she understands a lot of voice commands, how do you teach an elephant that? We use that target that Vernon's hanging on to, that stick, we, we teach them to move their body parts towards that target, and as she moves towards the target, Fern blows his whistle, tells her she's done something right, and then we reward her for that. African elephants have some big problems right now. Number one is poaching. Toka has nice long tusks. Thousands of elephants are still killed every year for those tusks, so it's a good reminder to everybody if you ever see ivory for sale not to buy it. Toka's got an ear out. Did you want to go up and touch your ear? We're here with obviously a giraffe and a giraffe keeper. What's your name, good sir? My name is Harry. How tall do these guys get? Uh, they can get up to about 18, 19 feet tall. They say their heart's about 25 pounds, the size of a basketball, but they also need that size of heart to pump up all the way up to the top of their head too. Can I maybe feed these guys? Uh, woo. Hey, oh, no, no, don't go. Did you know that we have a new carousel? Just dine and dash. I'm here with Dr. Andrew Lentini of the Toronto Zoo. We're here in the America's Pavilion talking a little bit about the Cuvier Smooth Fronted Cayman. They're a type of alligator, but they're not endangered, which is uncommon compared to other species, right? The Cuvier Smooth Fronted Cayman has multiple osteoderms or small bones in the skin, so it's not very attractive to people who are hunting these for their hides. I'd like to ask you a little bit about this pavilion. It's really hot. <laughs> why, why is it like this? Our animals like it hot and sticky. Reptiles are, are ectotherms. They get their body heat from their environment. So we provide them with that type of environment here at the zoo and it's tropical here year round. Year round, this must be nice to work in then, eh? In the winter? It's a pleasure in the winter, yeah. <laughs> I'm here with Asha Kiran. She's a five-year-old Indian rhinoceros. Right now she weighs about 4,000 pounds. When she's full grown in a year and a half, she'll weigh up to 6,000 pounds. Pounds. There's less than 2,400 left in the wild. And their main predator? Us. Because they're hunted for things like their blood, their urine, and also their horns right here that are made of keratin, which is the same stuff as our hair and fingernails. We're alike in many ways. I'm here with Dave Ireland, and we're here at the Amir Tiger. The Amir Tiger is the biggest cat in the world, and our Tatiana, I was just told, was just over 300 pounds. Biggest cat in the world, eat your heart out, Garfield. What sort of numbers are we looking at with something that's critically endangered? Wild populations are so low that without direct human intervention, that population will go extinct very, very soon. And so in the case of the Amir Tiger, there's probably no more than 400 left in the wild. Well, thanks a lot, Dave. I learned a lot from this experience. Actually, right now, let's go check out the conservation carousel. That was pretty cool. Now let's go hang out with some orangutans. Hey, I'm here with Matt, the orangutan keeper, and what are you about to give these guys? It's popsicles, just frozen juice. Well, I want a popsicle. So other than the fact that we both like popsicles, what else do we have in common with orangutans? Their DNA is 97.3% similar to us. That and everything else, except that they're hairy and live in the forest. I'm pretty hairy. Hey guys, I'm Steve, here with another Steve. Steve Jones, a coordinator of education here at the Toronto Zoo, and he's gonna teach us a few things about polar bears. Are they endangered animals? Yeah. Yeah. Any idea why that's the case? Global warming. Global warming, that's a big one there's less and less areas for them to hunt, so their numbers are declining. So what they do is they hunt on ice, and the seal comes up and they have big awesome claws like this and big teeth that they use to catch their prey. But with the ice disappearing, it's harder to catch the prey, so we have to do what we can to save these guys. 
What do you guys want to do? Everyone say thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, guys. They were talking to you, not me. Yeah. Look, Alice, I'm really sorry, but you, you can't go on the carousel. You, you just, you wouldn't fit. Oh, don't give him my face now. Oh, you got the camel ride over there. You are a ride. Don't stick your tongue out of me. Is everyone having fun? Yeah! Well, that's all for me. I'm Steve here at the Toronto Zoo riding the conservation carousel. Now, if you'll excuse me. Whee!